Could the eruption of Mount St. Helens? Helens trigger an apocalyptic disaster in Yellowstone? The world is on edge, wondering, what if these two volcanic giants wake up and wreak havoc on the planet? Let's dive into the terrifying truth, because what you're about to learn might just change everything you thought you knew about Earth's fiery volcanoes. Mount St. Helens, an iconic stratovolcano, has been quiet for years, but recent seismic activity has sent ripples of concern throughout the geological community. This volcano, located in Washington state, has a tumultuous history that reminds us all of nature's unpredictability. And then there's Yellowstone, a supervolcano so powerful, it could potentially reshape the world. But here's the burning question. Could Mount St. Helens, a volcano in the Pacific Northwest, trigger a catastrophic eruption at Yellowstone hundreds of miles away? Buckle up, because today we explore not just the violent history of these two volcanic giants, but also the science that may prove a chilling connection between them. Keep watching till the end, and I'll tell you exactly how a chain of events could lead to a super volcanic nightmare that could shake humanity to its core. Mount St. Helens, first named by British explorer George Vancouver in 1792, has a reputation for awakening with devastating force. Native American tribes knew the mountain well, with some calling it Lo Luaqua, a name steeped in their own rich history. This stratovolcano, made of layers of lava, ash, and volcanic rocks, has been dormant for long periods, but has shown us the power it holds. It's located about 50 miles northeast of Portland and 96 miles south of Seattle. And in its peaceful form, it's part of the Cascade Range, a range that also holds the infamous Mount Rainier and Mount Hood. Yet, nature doesn't keep such dormant power hidden forever. Mount St. Helens has erupted in dramatic fashion before, most notably in 1980 when a devastating eruption caused one of the largest landslides in recorded history. That eruption not only flattened miles of forests, but sent ash across 11 states and even into Canada. 57 lives were lost that day, including geologists who had been observing the volcano's growing signs of life. And then, in 2016, Mount St. Helens reminded us once again of its potential with a smaller eruption that sent ash and steam high into the sky, signaling that this volcano is far from sleeping. The crater of Mount St. Helens tells its own story, one of destruction and rebirth. After the 1980 eruption, a horseshoe-shaped crater formed, and a new lava dome grew from the earth, changing the entire landscape. And here's the part you need to pay attention to pyroclastic flows, which are fast-moving clouds of hot gas, ash, and rock fragments that race down the volcano's slopes at terrifying speeds of up to 1,000 degrees Celsius. These flows have been one of the deadliest volcanic hazards, capable of wiping out everything in their path. If a new eruption were to trigger a pyroclastic flow 10 times bigger than what we've seen before, we could be looking at something that's never been experienced. Can one volcano trigger another? But here's where it gets even more frightening. Could an eruption at Mount St. Helens trigger another? Helens trigger another nearby volcano? Could a chain reaction cause more eruptions across the region? To answer this, we need to understand volcanic triggering, a phenomenon where one eruption influences another. Take, for example, the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991, which scientists believe could have affected nearby volcanoes. Volcanoes are interconnected through a series of magma chambers and geological systems. And sometimes, eruptions at one volcano cause seismic activity or trigger magma movement in others. But here's the shocking part. This could be even more relevant when considering Mount Saint, Helens, and Yellowstone. Could Mount St. Helens trigger Yellowstone? So, could Mount St. Helens trigger Yellowstone's supervolcano? The science suggests no. The 560-mile distance between the two volcanic systems 
makes it highly unlikely that one could directly influence the other. Each volcano has its own unique geological setup. Mount St. Helens operates on a subduction zone where magma rises as the North American plate slides over a hot spot. Yellowstone, on the other hand, is powered by a mantle plume, leading to its massive eruptions that are much less frequent, but potentially far more catastrophic. Imagine this, two houses sitting on opposite sides of a city. If one house's foundation starts cracking, it's unlikely that it would cause damage to the other. They might be in the same neighborhood, but they're not connected in a way that would make one collapse because of the other. What happens if Yellowstone erupts? But let's get back to Yellowstone, because that's where things could get terrifying. What would happen if Yellowstone did erupt? The effects would be catastrophic. The ground would shake violently. Cities like Jackson Hole, Wyoming, would be buried under tons of volcanic debris. The iconic geysers and hot springs of Yellowstone would vanish under a vast, steaming caldera. But here's the really chilling part. Ash clouds from Yellowstone would travel thousands of miles, covering entire regions and plunging them into darkness. Imagine cities like Chicago and Denver being covered in ash, with air travel completely halted and agriculture collapsing worldwide. Crops would be destroyed, leading to a global food crisis that could leave millions starving. Can humanity survive? Despite this catastrophic scenario, a Yellowstone eruption wouldn't be the end of humanity. Scientists say the magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is only 5 to 15% molten, meaning the likelihood of a super eruption in the near future is incredibly low. In fact, according to the United States Geological Survey, the chances of an eruption happening in any given year are less than 0.000014%. Still, the psychological fear of an eruption remains. Could humanity survive the aftermath of such an event? It would be difficult, to say the least. Disease outbreaks, contaminated water, and the destruction of vital ecosystems would make recovery a long and hard road. So, will Mount St. Helens eruption trigger a Yellowstone supervolcano? Number the geological systems at play in each of these volcanoes are too different for one to directly trigger the other. But the potential for volcanic destruction is still very real. The question is when, not if, the next eruption will happen. As we wait for the next rumble, let's remember that the Earth is always shifting beneath our feet. One thing is certain, though whether it's Mount St. Helens, Yellowstone, or any other volcano, our world could change in an instant. Keep watching, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next adventure.